We're designing a part of what will become a first-of-its-kind research project, which is just an just amazing opportunity. One of the things we're really passionate about here is uh, light pollution. It obviously affects our world, affects our sky, so kind of brainstorming on our team of like staff, volunteers, and students, uh, what would be the next direction uh, that we'd take to use this unique platform, and thought, hey, you know what we can do? We can actually map light pollution. This program has definitely reinforced my confidence in being able to work in science. I mean, beforehand, I kind of just, I was looking for programs I could join, and, I, and I, when I went into this, I didn't think I'd ever like, take it seriously. I thought it'd just be, oh, it's all good on my college apps and everything, but it's genuinely something I work, look forward to every week. I never think I, like, I, I imagine I, if somebody were to have handed me this like a year and a half ago, I'd be like, what, what is this? Like, I, I would have no idea where to start. And I would have like um, teammates who are all interested in the same things I'm interested in. So it's really it's a supportive community, which is really fun. Yeah, you don't see any stars in Chicago. And it's like, well, it's because we're just fundamentally lighting up the, the night sky. You can't connect to the universe anymore. And here at the planetarium, well, I mean, that's our whole <laughs> our whole thing. You know, like we want to, you know, engage people with understanding the universe. And if they don't even see the universe, they have no concept of, uh, you know, what questions to ask even. We're going to chase it. Yep. <laughs> it's, uh, roll the dice. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs>